Okay, I'm gonna go remove the old inverter and all the old batteries and start that process. be honest you guys we just got back from a little mini break and it is still pretty hot in Chico not as bad as it was but it's still pretty hot and we are just not feeling it today the feeling of owning an RV is not as exciting today <laughs> we gotta build up our momentum again I guess that goes to show you some days even the things you're passionate about are Things that yeah. There's like three different bolt sizes on this thing. All these nuts are different sizes. They just wanted to make it a fun challenge. Well, we made a rookie mistake. It's our first day back on the job. Um, we didn't bring enough charged batteries out, so we haven't filmed very much. It is mid-afternoon. It has gotten hot, and everything's just a tangled ball of yarn. <laughs> uh, I've been trying to clean the shower and Ryan's been trying to figure out the batteries and the inverter and everything and it's just a lot of crossed wires so we pulled out four batteries from here he pulled out the old inverter which is right there and is installing the new inverter. So step back from all of that, all of those wires. I'm gonna plug in and see if oh. those have a potential to be live. So don't touch it. Okay. Yeah, I am falling over. Okay. So that's a problem. They didn't run their main through the inverter like they should have. Don't touch any of that. Okay. I don't know what that means, but it sounds bad. So what's the deal, Rye? So what should happen with an inverter charger that has multiple AC outputs, like what they had, you run your main 30 amp into the inverter. That's your shore power switch, your generator switch, battery switch. So that if you unplug from shore power, it switches up the batteries, everything's good. But, when you don't disconnect your main 30 amp and your 30 amp goes into the circuit breaker, the main panel, but then you tie off of it and go to your inverter, you have a problem because it can cause all sorts of issues. And that's what they did. They did the cheap and easy way. I don't know why. Because it's cheap and easy? Because they had a two output inverter. They should have included, which it would one output is active when you're on battery and both are active when you're on shore power. That's the way and everything flows through the inverter. It's a transfer switch and they didn't set it up properly. So now I have to go back and figure out what kind of janky wiring they did to make it actually work properly. So you're talking about rewiring this. Yeah. I was hoping they did it properly, but nothing has quite been done. <laughs> properly and why the manufacturer decided to make the generator start off of the coach batteries instead of the engine batteries I don't get because generally you start your 
generator to recharge your coach batteries, but if it's drawing off your coach batteries, you can't start the generator, which means if you kill your batteries, you're toast. So what is required now? I gotta figure out where their main input's coming from. Well, they have that wired up. I gotta figure out what else they did. I found the junction box for the main input. So right here, this cable down here at the bottom, that's the 30 amp plug right here, main input. And then this here goes out to the house main 30 amp breaker, which means if I tie into that, that would be AC input coming in, but just from just from the plug, just from shore power. I still don't know where the generator input is. Which might be okay. I think I figured out how their wiring works. I looked up, went home and looked up a uh, wiring diagram for the Fleetwood Expeditions. And there's a transfer switch. So I'm rewiring everything so that the transfer switch output goes to the inverter. And then the inverter is my primary transfer switch because I want that the last line of defense. I want it to all power to go through the inverter and then come back to the house uh, setup. So what they had before is a transfer switch that fed power down to the inverter and then the inverter powered like three outlets. So those three outlets are no longer connected. I'm going to wire them up to a new 20 amp breaker so that they're all wired through this panel. And this is still my master. I can shut it, turn it off, everything goes dead, which it didn't do before because there were like three outlets that were inverted and power could still flow through them when you're plugged into shore power, which I didn't like. So I'm rewiring the entire thing so that I can flip the 30 amp breaker or the 30 amp breaker is my main shutoff. And then the inverter is my secondary transfer switch. Actually, it's my primary transfer switch and then I've got another transfer switch up here for generator versus shore power. So both of those come in, transfer switch, go to the inverter. Inverter does battery power or shore power slash generator power and comes back to the main breaker panel. So that's what I'm rewiring. Probably makes no sense to anybody, but uh, it's starting to make sense to me. So here we go. So the power from the transfer switch to the inverter is hooked up. Now I gotta bring in power from the inverter back to the main breaker. All right, so this is coming back from the inverter. 10 gauge Romex rated for 30 amp. It's perfect because that's what our inverter is rated for. We're uh, out by the battery bay, trying to finish some things up. Inverter is getting installed, but we still haven't run the batteries yet. That'll probably be tomorrow because it's just too dang hot. Mm -hmm. But uh, Sue is prepping the old battery bay for all of our new electronics. And we're getting rid of the all thread stacks that used to hold up 
I used to hold in the old batteries, used to be their support. Oh, that's really eaten through by the battery acid. Yikes. Ooh. Oh, that's why I'm not cutting them down closer. Because the little nub on the top. Are we still too tight on the side? Yeah, it's this. It's okay. not this. That yeah. actually would have fit probably well. Okay. We need to cut this off. All right, I'll do it on the table saw. Cut the notches in again. That's the way we work. Buenos notches. But it's better than taking too much off because you can't put it back. So. That's true. There's, oh, this is that. at this is at like an angle. Cool, fits. Does it matter that it's pressing against these pipes at all? Um, I guess we could take the top, take the top off a of hair. Yeah, take it's like pressing a, on that. Okay, you wanna do it on the table saw? Yeah. Okay. Ta-da, it only took us. Like 30 cuts. <laughs> so now we gotta bolt these things to the back. We did it! Woohoo! Cool. That'll be fantastic. So this will come down. I'll put the switch, the bus bar, the fuse out to the inverter.